Reading and writing are a lot like computer programming. When we read a story, we follow an order of events, or sequence, from the first line to the last. We have to, for the storyline or plot to make sense. Have you ever read a book by opening it in the middle, flipping back to the first sentence, and then reading the last page? No way, this would be really confusing. In a computer program, sequence is just as important. We instruct computers by giving them directions written in code. If we write code in the wrong sequence, the program won't make sense to the computer, just like stories don't make sense to us if the events are out of order. Now, think about your life as if it were a storybook. Pretty cool, right? But unlike a story that has a set sequence of events, your life can take twists and turns based on the conditions around you. In other words, life is filled with ifs. If it is sunny, then you go outside. If you are tired, then you sleep. If it is Halloween, then you might dress up. All of these ifs are what keep life interesting. You see, your day will change based on the conditions around you and the choices you make in response. This is awesome because it means no two days are exactly the same. Have you ever read a choose your own adventure book? If not, what do you think this type of book is about? These are stories where you have some control over the path the story takes, sort of like in real life. You start with a single order of events, but as you read, you will get a choice and the storyline will branch in many possible directions based on the conditions you choose. The ending you get to might not be the same one as your friend. For every choice you make in a book like this, you complete a conditional statement. Those are the if-then statements we were talking about before. If you choose option one, then something will happen. But if you choose the other option, then the path the story takes will be totally different. So what does this have to do with coding? Well, just like a choose your own adventure author, programmers also use conditional statements like this to make their code more dynamic and interesting. Here's your mission. Combine programming and storytelling. Use a conditional statement to write the ending of a short story. Here's how it works. There are three picture prompts. Think of these as the multiple options in a choose your own adventure book. Ask yourself what would happen if one of these conditions were true. Choose one of the images. Then what would happen next? Write a short story describing the ending. Get creative, the possibilities are endless. You can pause the video here to choose your picture and write your story. Awesome work! Looking for a bonus coding adventure? You can also practice using conditions in Codable's Maze Maker. Here we use colored tiles to represent conditions. These tiles will make your program more dynamic and colorful. After you draw your maze, look for spots where your fuzz will have multiple options for where to roll. For example, here my fuzz can move straight or turn down. I want to place a condition tile at this point to tell my fuzz, if pink, then turn down, to collect the stars. Now it's time to test my maze. If I don't put a condition in my program, then my fuzz will move straight. Let's try again. If pink, then turn down. This condition is true, so my fuzz will change directions. We did it! Now it's your turn. If you haven't already, pick one of the three images and use the condition to write a short story. Then practice using condition tiles to make a dynamic program in the Codable Maze Maker. Good luck!